welcome to day 11. Oh God, I can't believe the trip's almost over. We've only got today, tomorrow, and the following day. So three more days, including today. And then we go back home. Sad, but also missing the girls. And missing Phantom and missing our bed. Um, and yeah, we've done so much. I think we're a bit tired as well. Um, so today we're going to be exploring Florence, which is going to be fun. It's not going to be a fast paced day. We can take our time. And then at five o'clock we meet back up with the group and we're going to have a nice Tuscan dinner. So we'll get back on the bus and head to Tuscany. I'm not sure what's on the menu, it's a surprise. But yeah, looking forward to today being a bit slower, not so rushed. Um, it's supposed to rain this afternoon, but I think because we're going to do a lot of walking and it's not going to be too, too cold today, we've decided to try wear some of our summer clothes. Yay! Yay! <laughs> we're just over wearing the same winter clothes. Yay! <laughs> so yeah, has got a t shirt and shorts on. Um, I've got my singlet top. I'm obviously going to put my denim jacket on top. And I'm wearing, can you hold this? My skirt. Yay, summer skirt. But in case it is cold because it's a thin, very thin skirt, I've got leggings underneath. <laughs> Just to cover the legs because it's so thin. And if I do get hot, they can come off. Um, but yeah, we're both excited that we can wear some summer clothes. Then tomorrow and the following day when we go to Rome, it's supposed to be really hot, like 26 degrees, 27 degrees, which is even better because we can wear more summer clothes instead of the same clothes. Because I'm sure you've noticed we're wearing, it looks like we're wearing the same clothes, but it's just the same jacket because it's been that cold. We've only got one big jacket, um, but underneath we've been wearing different clothes. <laughs> just, we just wanted to make that point. So you don't think we've been wearing the same stuff over and over. But yeah, we just want to wear some nice summer clothes. Um, so for, so now we're just going to go to, oh, it's a bit dark, I'll just flip around. Now we're going to go to breakfast, then come back up to the room, get our bags and head off into the city. Um, I think we we'll walk there with the group and work out whether we're doing that walking tour or just do our own thing. Um, but yeah, we'll work that out after breakfast where are you going this is the breakfast this morning Tanya's getting some healthy stuff there's bacon eggs i'm gonna get some eggs oh they don't actually look that great oh they look very dry just get a little bit ketchup yeah sorry Cold cuts. Mm. Oh shit, no. Nah. Don't want that. There's cheese. Fruit. Bread. Croissants. Cakes. I like it. Try cake. Croissant. What is the ones with marmalade? Wholemeal, cream and raisin, Ooh. and just, I think, plain. Is that tongs? Try one of these. Hope that's filled. Cereal, milk, yogurt. Get some yogurt. It's cherry, banana. Oh, that's so good ones. Where's the berries? Banana. Sorry. I might get this one. Spoon. Uh, what else is there? And coffee over there. So I went and got some toast. So I got one, I put peanut butter, and the other one's got Nutella. This one. And there was a pancake machine there, but 
this is what came out when I pressed the button to make it. Terrible. I was disappointed. I was like, oh, pancakes. Yeah, not so good. The reason I got to went back and got toast is because the croissant, which is in our mess, was empty and stale. So all the pastries, I tried a different pastry, still stale. They're old. Um, and I've got my coffee. We're back from breakfast. Wasn't the greatest breakfast. The, like I said, the croissants were uh, stale. And I just had the toast. And the yogurt was not good. No, it is what it is. At least we had something, right? Um, and I'm full anyway now after having the toast. And I had a bit of eggs, but the eggs were overcooked. I'm just looking at the map. I just asked reception for a map. So I've just highlighted some of the things we want to see today. So we're here. Um, and reception said we just have to walk along here to get to the main bridge. I'm going to have a look at that and have um, some photos. I want to see the Palazzo oh, is it Vecchio. Um, maybe this Palazzo. We go to the Piazza della Repubblica and then go to the main um, this main cathedral kind of area. I'd like to see the main one um, to see the Bapit, Bap, I can't even say the word Baptistry. It's a tongue twister for me, sorry. And the Duomo and Bell Tower. Um, so that's the main attraction for Florence and the bridge they're the two main things um so if we at least see those two and have a walk around the shops um and try and see those other three if we come across it because they're all pretty close um apparently from our hotel to here she said have a slow pace 15 minute walk and then up to the duom was maybe 10 minutes which isn't too bad um there's a lot of churches when i'm looking at this map I don't think we're going to go and see all of them because, like, once you see the main ones and then you see the smaller ones, you're just like, hmm, meh. Um, but, yeah, we'll have a wander around the shops, see what they've got. don't think we can buy much because I think we're on our suitcase limit. Um, so, yeah, we'll just have a little, just view the shops, just have a little look. Unless we really find something we really want then maybe we'll buy something but other than that um, I do want to have a look to find something for my mum still not sure what um, just to say thank you for watching the girls we've already got something for Franny's sister so she's done to say thank you um, but yeah I'm just gonna what time is it just have a look at my watch we've got 10 minutes and we have to head downstairs to make our way into the center uh, but yeah i'm just gonna quickly use the toilet we'll head off i could actually i gotta work out to pack my my little backpack i don't, don't know if i want to take it but we have to take umbrellas because it's supposed to rain after lunch so just in case we'll have to take them um so the little umbrellas that i bought from temu have come in really handy on this trip lucky i bought them They've so small they and compact, but they've done the they've done the job. We've used them a fair bit, haven't we? The umbrellas, yeah. Like they've bought them nice and compact, and we've used them. But yeah, we'll just get ready to head downstairs now. So we decided to leave the group. We didn't want to do the walking tour. We just wanted to do our own thing um, and walk along the river because yeah. they weren't. Yeah, we just want to enjoy our last day. And look what we get to see. Our we. Wow. This is our morning view. And it's really nice weather. It's not freezing cold and it's not hot. It's just nice, but you can tell we'll probably will heat up. We'll probably need to take our jackets off after walking a little bit. So like I showed you in the map, we're just going to walk up the river to the main bridge, Ponte Vecchio. Vecchio, something like that. Vecchio, Vecchio. Yeah. Um, because we're early, it's like only 9 o'clock. 
Hopefully we won't be busy and we can have some nice photos. So we're just coming up to the Museum of Galileo. 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 Look at the map. Oh, look at this. That's another museum. Wow. Well, what is it? You fizzy? Oof, easy. That's like Galileo, that one. And this is Oof, easy. Oof. Uh. But maybe it's to go behind the park, so. Let's have a look. It's a big line to get in. The park of Yekyo be straight through behind, which is probably where we're going to see the tour. Let's have a quick squeeze. Should we quickly walk there and then go up there? Or we'll go there first to the yeah, bridge. We'll Alright, we're going to come back here and we're going to go to the bridge first. There it is. That's our view. We're going to walk over there and have a photo of the river. And we're going to take a quick one here. Just making our way to the bridge. Close our view. Such a nice reflection on the water. But the water does look dirty, right? Yeah. We're walking up the bridge. A few jewelry stores, not at, oh, on every side. Well, she was saying to Look. buy gold to come here. Wow. Look at everything, man. Like every single store Some is jewelry stores. Holy crap, how can they all survive? Mm. Surely they all have roughly the same stuff. They're just opening now. What is it, 9.30 or 10 o'clock? 9.30. 9.30 they're it's opening. Funny how it doesn't even look like anything. No. Yeah, look, this is the shop fronts. These are the ones that aren't open yet. And all these little wind, wooden doors and windows open up. And we're here. We're going to look at both views. It's going to be sunny. Wow. Look at that. Just walk into the other side of the bridge. What's this statue? Can we read it? Maestro Gileofi. Hmm. I don't know who that is. Ditch around it. Oh, it's down the uh, Ferris wheel. Oh, wow, it's all the way down there. Right, down there there's a Ferris wheel. Now, everyone writes on the bridge that they've been here or the, them and their like so and so loves so and so. Even up on that wall. Hey. If only we had a texter. Didn't know you could do this. Oh, what's that stuck in there? That's um, how they tied the. See this one there? That's oh, how they used to tie fun. the buildings together. So there is like a knot where they put the bathroom and then they put a stress beam. And that's going to hold your walls together. Ah. They do is, the that, is that real? Or you make no, 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 that's, that's how real. They okay. Do the stress cables. That's how they do the slabs now. Ah. Oh. Even like for big building cities, they do it like that. You just don't see it because they cover it with the side. Excuse me. Oh. Can I take a picture? So we're just continuing walking down the bridge, and then we're going to walk back up. But it's just never-ending jewelry shops. I don't know how they all survive. Look at it all. Oh, I think those chains are a bit much. Oh, there's some nice earrings. I like these. It's on the bus. We're just looking at all the jewelry stores on the bridge. There's some nice stuff, but expensive. And then we're just gonna we'll have a look at it somewhere else. Maybe it's just more expensive than it's on the bridge. Piazza Vecchio. It's more a real drawing rather than a carriage. 
that's where we came in from looks amazing from this view Leonardo da Vinci who's on that side I don't know who they are but we're actually in Piazza Uffizi and then that's Palazzo with the bell tower Piazza Vecchio or Vecchio whatever which, whatever's the correct pronunciation Vecchio. it's a bit confusing because it's just one after the other and then all around us oh, all around us is the museums for all fizzy Galileo Donatello so here in the piazza there's Chanel Valentino and Dolce & Gabbana they've got prime location here with the restaurants and cafes a nice area. I don't know whether we'll come back later and have lunch here. It's nice here. I really like it. What do you think? Mm. It's nice to be able to just like sit back um, and yeah. enjoy the site. Yeah. Walk up with the contact photos and everything. Yeah. Down this little side street. It's very cute. Oh, more jewelry. We got to a dead end. And we just turned and looks like there's something up there. We're going to just head up there and see what's there. Oh, look at all those so cream filled buns or whatever. Oh, yum. We're just passing a lot of pastry places that look so good. Oh my god. I want to try one. Oh, they cut it and they fill the custard up, right? Let's go have a look. Looks like. It's only $2.50. That's what mini ones, yeah, like that. And then you try say, a mini one. What do you want? Oh, yum. Yeah, look at them. So. We got one cream pastry, one with pastry cream, which Ronya just licked. That's his, and I got the Zambioni one just because I'm curious as what to, it is. I think it might be lemon. Let me try. No, it's alcohol. I knew it was. Uh, that's what yeah, I said I before. I said it before there was an alcohol yeah, one. How soft it is. Oh, so soft and fresh, and it's warm. And we got coffee to go with it, of course. Oh, looks so good. Custard's mm. good too. Mm. Mm. good. Mm. How soft it is. Mm. I have a lot of money for it. Oh my god. It's a bath drip. Oh. Mm. Lick it real good. Lick it. Mm. Lick it, Linda. We're just sitting inside, but when we got here, there was no one. Now we've started a trend. There's a big lineup. It's a cute little place. They've even got specialty coffee. Tempting to try that too. And then that's the flavored brioche buns. Minuto de Bali, Bali or Bali. I don't know how to pronounce that. Definitely a place to come and try. This is a must go to place if you're here. We have to work out what street is it on. If you're ever in Florence. Yeah, if you're ever in Florence, come here. It's a must. So we'll just have a look what street it is. Come up here, I should say it up on the wall. Let's see if we can find the street name. Corner of uh, that street and that street. Via De Delia Special. What is a Speziali? Via Delia Speziali. Speziali. I don't even know how to pronounce that properly, but but up on the corner of the street it says Corso. 
So we found the street on and the map. It's Via del Corso is where the pastry place is. It's a brioche place. It's a must go. So the Levi store. Ah, oh, my favourite store. Guess. Although it's pr pretty expensive here. Diesel. Well, we just, I think, walked into like, just by accident, the shopping district. The apple stores over there in the corner. Cocktail bar, restaurants. Look how green that is. We have to have a photo in front of it. Wow. And we've arrived to where the Baptist. I can't see it. Why is it a tongue twister for me? Baptist. Ba huh? Baptistry. That's it. Baptistry. Baptistry. Like bap baptized, but with the R Y at the end. Oh, Baptistry. Yeah, and there's the Diormo behind it. The Diormo. The, the bell tower. That's about it. That's about it. Oh, that's about it. Okay. Yeah. And rice. And, and there's all like well, cabbage and stuff. Mm. Wow. 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 Well, that one looks like parsley or chopped up. Art festival. Man, when I came last time, there wasn't this many people everywhere here. There's more at the back. Do you want to walk around the back? This is the side of it. It's huge. We just asked about tickets. To get into the church, you don't need a ticket, we just line up. But the bell tower, you need tickets, and it's best to buy a head because today is just over. So, the line to get in is at least close to probably 2Ks long. Uh, yeah, come first thing if you want to get into the church. But so in 20 minutes we move from the end of that fence, can't see as people walking, to here. So it's not bad, it's moving consistently. Can look at the detail above that door. We're probably a third of the way and it's taken us 40 minutes so we've still got all that and then it goes around the front of the church. Look at all the detail. So much. Oh, there's just so much to look at. It's amazing. An hour in, and we're almost at the corner to go to, um, along the front of the church to go in. It's moving okay. We're almost there. We're almost there. Yeah, we're we're past. 13 past 12. So it's been an hour and 15 minutes. So I think by the time we get to the front, about an hour and a half. <laughs> look at this. There's so much detail everywhere that you look. We're almost there, an hour and a half it took us to get to here. We have to be quiet in here. Downstairs, see what's down there. It's the tombs. Yeah. Oh, it looks like just artifacts. I don't think we can go in. Yeah, you need a ticket. I don't know what it is. So that's probably how they get so you. You get down the bottom, and then they're like, oh, that, I want to walk in there. That was not worth the hour and a half wait. Um, I recommend you don't go in there. Just take a look on the outside. It's not worth it. So we stopped at this place. 
on um, one of the piazzas that we were here before where the carousel is near that delicious um, brioche bun place is close by and we checked the menu before we came in and we saw burgers a burger I think we're both gonna probably get that hamburger there's also chicken that, that chicken supreme sounds good that's getting a bit pricey this whole um, piazza is pretty pricey but we thought we'd treat ourselves these are starters just noticed they have pizzas and a kids menu and a dessert which we may have Ooh. a few nice ones and then they've got gelato and sorbet they have a three dollar cover charge per person here in most of the restaurants you really need to have that to pay the things range from one and fifty to three fifty onions oh how good does this look look at the chips look at that yum we finished lunch oh my god those burgers are exactly what we needed they were yum so good there's so much meat in there um flavor in those chips oh so good yeah we've needed a um we needed some protein protein meat sauce yeah we've had anything for the last two weeks okay okay we found a gelato place i'm gonna check it out and see what it's like Ah, oh, is it on the same? Yeah, it's on the same street as that uh, um, brioche dessert place that we went to this morning. Whoa, there's a lot of choices here. Mm. These are the sorbets. Sorbet, sorbet. Where's the banana split one? Oh, there. What's this one? Coffee. Yeah, I'm thinking, of, oh, where's, yeah. The trifle. I'm thinking maybe to try that one. Cheesecake. Uh, Daniel got the banana split and the berry cheesecake. Yeah. It's a banana split. Just showing I got the trifle and the berry cheesecake on the other side. You don't like your you don't like your banana split? No, it's fine. What's it like? You don't seem very satisfied this time. Try. Okay, but not yet. Okay. 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 It's okay. That's what I'm saying. Like it's like it's okay. It's not like it's gross. That gelato was oh, the trifle one. I could have had more of that. It was so good. Okay, so we've hit another piazza. Looks like there's markets here. There is lots. Do you want to have a little wander through? Let's see what they have. Oh. Oh. <laughs> we just attract sweets. Oh. Look at all the biscotti. 
Oh, yum. <gasps> waffles, little waffles. Oh, yum. Wine. Oh, I don't know whether to get something to take back with us. I think we. No, that's slimy. I can smell it like how mom, when my mum and dad make it and hanged it. It's that smell. Now the cheese. Oh, that's terrible, that smell. It's so much. Look at these. Wooden ducks. Sure something's coming from here, though. Ah, now the bread. Bread. Oh, it smells like pizza. Like uh, quiches. Melted cheese. Oh, yeah. Look at these. All these? Sweets. Candy. Licorice? Look at all yeah, the licorice. Yeah, you can have your, those ones that you wanted. Mm. Pillows. Fragrances for the home. Okay, I'm pushing off. What's that? Herbal remedies. Dried fruits. Oh, they smell good. I don't even know what they are. I don't know they, yeah, but what are they? That's what I was thinking. I think it's, it's a marshmallow with like flavoring on the outside. It's got the biscuit base of the marshmallow yeah. and it's coated in the chocolate and the flavor. Like that one with coconut and white chocolate. This is just chocolate. Vanilla. That's got rum on the outside. And looks, Caramel. Yeah. That's our hotel building, the FH55 Grand Hotel Mediterranean Frienza. Um, the FH is for future hotel, it's like a, a green energy hotel, that's why they call it that. That's the lifts we take to go to where our room is. This is the foyer, this is going to the right. Oh, it's warm in here. That's the restaurant. Oh, there's a few people from our tour group here in the bar. That's the bar. And seating. Hello. And then when you come in, if you go to the left. Oh, there's luggage storage there. I don't know what that is. Hmm, don't know. That's reception. There's stairs to go up as well to our level and down there is where we have breakfast. We're going up. We've just gotten ready to go to dinner. Oh, handsome. Mm. <laughs> nice top. <laughs> I'm just wearing a orange and white striped shirt. Maybe you can do it. Yeah, that's all right. My jeans and then flats because my short boots didn't match, so be comfortable. And my jacket <laughs> in case it gets cold because we're going to Tuscany, so I don't know what it's like there. So it's here, I'll just need one thin jacket, but better to be safe than sorry. Yeah. How the hell am I going to get on that? <laughs> It's raining. I'm going. Let's go. Like it, but smells like it. Wait, pussy 
shorts. <laughs> From my like, um, It doesn't taste anything like it, but it definitely smells like it. Yeah, it doesn't taste like it, definitely smells like the red pussy shorts with the cranberry and lime. The more I drink, the more it tastes like red pussy shorts. It feels weird to be sick in it. The only difference is it's busy. It's Prosecco. In the blue mode, we add some peach and some snaps. That's what we saw. Peach snaps. Okay, and then we go. We will go quicker. I uh, probably you are tired and hungry, so you need to sit and enjoy music and. <laughs> I like it, this room. Mmm. This is the original flooring. We're just going through the tunnel that Machiavelli used. Here's the barrels, the 200 year old barrels. You can't see, it's very dark in here. See there? Some there. Some here. There's a whole heap down there. This is the tunnel that goes under the road. We're actually crossing the road. The road's above us. It's back up. What are all these? Looks like toilet cubicles <laughs> for men. Are they ovens or something? Oh yeah. Yeah, maybe. First one. Called teeny. They were conic, made in wood, but open evolved. So you know that the wine when the wine ferments it's dangerous. Tuscany. This is the view from the area we're gonna have dinner in. Wow, amazing. This is what we're eating. This is our antipasto, tepoli, polenta, olive oil, bread, bruschetta, some form of cheese, and pancetta. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, this is also book on me. It's the um, rigatoni pasta with meat. It even tastes like that. Tastes like mine? Oh, I'm honoured. <laughs> oh, do they? <laughs> Let me try it. Tastes like yours. Did you have some meat?
done and dusted. Tomorrow is our last day with the tour and, and we have our farewell dinner with them tomorrow and then we have one last day just us in Rome. Um, today was a nice slow paced day. We got to see everything we wanted to in Florence. Um, we ate some amazing food today. Um, we relaxed a bit in the hotel in the afternoon before dinner and then we headed off to Tuscany to um, Machiavelli's house for dinner. Uh, the food was okay, not the best food. I think still the best food was, uh, what was the dinner? The Fisherman's Island? Uh, the Venice one on, um, the not the Venice one, what am I saying? The Lake, Lake Majority one on the island, that was the best dinner. Um, but yeah, for me, you know, the Sipoli was a bit dense, it needed to be lighter. Um, my mum's one is definitely a lot better. Um, what else did we have? Let me check. Uh, the polenta chip thing, I don't know what it was. Uh, yeah, it was deep fried polenta and that little like, square piece was hard and dry. It needed to be thicker, it just dried out like it was hollow. Now, did you like it or did you think it was a bit... The polenta no. Yeah, it wasn't good. Um, the ravioli were okay for me. Franya liked them, but for me it was just a bit too much spinach in the filling. I thought it was too strong. Um, the penne with the osaboko meat was really yum. Um, obviously, it tastes exactly like how I make it at home, um, so that was good. The beef, I wasn't a huge fan of the flavors. Like it was cooked okay, but yeah, I wasn't a fan of the flavors. Franny had two servings. He was dying for a piece of steak. Um, the potatoes were way overcooked. They were like mushy, soft, not nice and crispy. The dessert tonight wasn't the greatest. Like the panna cotta was nice and smooth and soft, very jiggly how it should be. But it didn't have any flavour on its own. It needed some vanilla in it. And when they did the drizzle, because they did it in front of us on the main table, the drizzle of raspberry cooling. It was raspberry, wasn't it? Yeah. Um, it was just a store-bought bottle of syrup. Um, and the other cake that we had, the chocolate mousse, looked like it was probably store-bought too. Um, wasn't too bad when you ate the mousse and the chocolate cake together, but the chocolate cake on its own was just like chewy. So, yeah. So, overall, it was an okay dinner. Um... The rest of the entree was pretty good, like the starter, everything else on that was nice. Like the bruschetta and the olive bread and that. Um, so yeah, it was like, it was okay. Um, the wine was really good, um, it was really nice. Uh, we wanted to buy some but 
for us Australians it was way too expensive with the exchange rate plus we'd have to wait to see what the import tax would be on it to pay that as well which is ridiculous um, so the Amer a lot of Americans bought it because it worked out just $20 a bottle um, including shipping for us we're looking at probably $40 um, a bottle that's Australian and we're not sure if the shipping rate would go up as well um, and then obviously the alcohol tax in Australia is ridiculously high so we didn't end up getting any we didn't get any oil because again it wouldn't have been worth it for us would have loved to get their oil um, tried some of it it was amazing but yeah too expensive for us um, but yeah it was a fun night actually, we had fun. Uh, we've just got to pack our bags tonight because we head towards Rome tomorrow. Oh yeah, then we say goodbye to everyone tomorrow. Um, it's a bit sad that our holiday's coming to an end and then we'll only have one more day. But at the same time, we're kind of getting excited to see um, the girls and Phantom again. We're missing them now more and more. Um, so yeah, we we can't wait to see him. But that pretty much is all for tonight. So I'm gonna go finish packing my stuff and good night to you all.